So after a pretty disappointing season from the Pittsburgh Pirates and from Andrew McCutcheon, he's been placed on the trade blocker, you know, he's been placed on the available for trades sort of discussions. And um, there have been some rumors floating around about Andrew McCutcheon potentially being traded. And um, well, there's this one that popped up between him and the Cleveland Indians. Now the Indians came off of a World Series loss and they're looking to maybe make some additions. They're going to lose Coco Crisp and Rajay Davis more than likely in this offseason. But a couple of things before we get into this trade is that take this with a grain of salt since this is these rosters are not updated and they aren't even my best educated guesses as to where or where trades would happen, where free agents would sign, you know, that kind of stuff. And so this isn't these rosters aren't exactly up to date. But I just wanted to see how the Indians would fare with Andrew McCutcheon. And so the deal would be centered around Andrew McCutcheon and Carlos Carrasco or Danny Salazar. It should be or centered around Kutch and Sal and Carrasco because Salazar has a higher upside and he is younger. So there is that. And uh, the Indians, as you can see, starting off a little bit slow early on, but then they get their groove. They swept Texas and they're starting to catch some dubs coming up. And uh, they took three out of four over the Royals, and they're starting to just really win series and really catch a hot streak as they are 43 and 26 up to this point. But the Indians would be forming a super team because they'll be getting Michael Brantley back, and they already have Frankie going along with Andrew McCutcheon, and uh, they still have Jason Kipnis. They still have they still have pretty much their core. They the only thing the only player that they would be giving up would be Tyler Tyler Naquin, who had a pretty good season for the Indians coming up and uh, I mean he can be flipped in the deal and you know they have some prospects that can be flipped in the deal I mean and it works out for both sides since what they have is what Pittsburgh would need what they would rather trade ideally would be what Pittsburgh would be looking to trade for Andrew McCutcheon and so the Indians are starting to pick it up now and uh, this is a team that is a true super team now since they have Kutch and they have Francisco Lindor like I mentioned earlier and their pitching staff is just terrific and you know I would I would suspect that I'll probably do another one like this since they're probably going to talk more about free agents upcoming you know starting pitchers or pitchers in general coming to Cleveland. You know, they're probably going to talk about that a little bit more. They're probably going to talk about that a little bit more. And, um, I mean, that's when I would do this a little bit better. Or, you know, a little bit better because these rosters aren't updated. They aren't even with, I mean, they, they're they not even with the best educated guesses that I can give you. Like Houston forming a super team and, you know, this and that. So, take this with a grain of salt, the results. But the Indians are a super team now since they have a bunch of, they have a bunch of, hitters that are stars I mean Francisco Lindor Andrew McCutcheon Michael Brantley I mean Jason Kipnis is a very good I mean borderline all-star probably Carlos Santana Mike Napoli you know the or Carlos Santana you know they have like five good hitters very good hitters and their pitching staff is just lights out Danny Salazar taking the leap so yeah I mean definitely don't trade away Danny Salazar bullpen still lights out best in the MLB still but at the same time, these aren't updated. And uh, there are going to be better what-ifs coming up since the as we get more into the offseason. I just wanted to test this out since, I mean, this was a rumor. Andrew McCutcheon getting traded to the Indians, and I think it would make sense. But the Indians' best team in the American League, and it's not even close. So they're looking to avenge their sort of failures. I mean, it was honestly an overachievement, but... I thought they could get it done since they had the confidence and they were just rolling in the postseason. So we're taking a look. They're going to be facing the Boston Red Sox. They end up actually losing in four games, which I don't think that would happen. So take this take this with a grain of salt, like I said earlier, because the rosters aren't updated just yet. But the Indians, the super team, the so-called super team, getting eliminated by the Boston Red Sox. This didn't happen in real life, so I didn't. I wouldn't suspect suspect this to happen in real air you know if they were to get Andrew McCutcheon but the Indians would be losing I guess a pitcher and uh, I think they could I think they would actually be able to manage it but 
this is what would happen if Andrew McCutcheon gets traded to the Cleveland Indians and you know I was just messing around so take this with a grain of salt but let me know what other what ifs you want me to do for this upcoming offseason as we are going to start getting into the offseason the bread and butter of this offseason in the MLB and then I'll be having better ones out here like there might be one coming up like what if the Astros form a super team so just let me know which other ones you want to do where you want me to do and I'll be sure to listen to them. So I'll be seeing you guys next time.